Welcome to the Applied Biosystems Tac Talk video series, where we break down real time PCR to make it easier for you. Real time reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction. Phew, that was a mouthful. How about RTQ PCR? Well, that's certainly easier to say, but how exactly did we get from there to RTQPCR? Well, that's a great question. Let's talk through it and discuss some of the common terminology and acronyms that you will encounter when using this technology. Let's start with an easy one, polymerase chain reaction. That's our good friend, PCR. Okay, what about RT? Like many people, you may assume that RT is short for real time. RT is actually an acronym for reverse transcription. RT-PCR or reverse transcription PCR is a type of PCR in which RNA serves as the starting template. The RNA is transcribed into complementary DNA or cDNA by a reverse transcriptase enzyme. The cDNA is then used as a template for traditional PCR. Since we're already talking about reverse transcription, let's clarify what we mean by one-step or two-step RT-PCR. In one-step RT-PCR, the reverse transcription and PCR reactions are carried out in the same tube. In two-step RT-PCR, reverse transcription is done first as a separate reaction. After that, a portion of the cDNA is added to a PCR mix for amplification. That leaves us with Q. How did we get from real time to Q? In real time PCR, the instrument detects a fluorescent signal that is generated during target amplification in each PCR cycle in real time. The data is then analyzed to determine the relative or absolute quantity of the target sequence in the original sample. In other words, the data is collected in real time to obtain quantitative results. And that's how quantitative, or Q, became synonymous with real time. We should also talk about RN and CQ, or CT values. But we need to define baselines and thresholds before we do that. A qPCR baseline is the low-level fluorescence emitted during early PCR cycles. It represents the background signal, or noise. The target threshold, which appears as a horizontal line in the amplification plot, is the signal intensity that reflects a statistically significant increase over the baseline. The threshold is then used to determine the CQ, or quantification cycle. The CQ value corresponds to the PCR cycle in which the sample amplification curve crosses the target threshold. This is where the fluorescent signal exceeds background fluorescence which indicates true amplification. A low CQ correlates with a high target expression level in a sample. Over the years, CQ has also been referred to as a threshold cycle, or CT, crossing point, or CP, and takeoff point, or TOP. They all mean the same thing, but quantification cycle is preferred according to Mikey guidelines to ensure consistency. You may run across a few other terms during data analysis. Anytime this little triangle, or delta, appears next to a value, it indicates the value has been calculated as the difference between two other values. For example, delta CT, or DCT, is the difference between the CT values of your target gene and your endogenous control. Delta, delta CT or DDCT is calculated during a comparative CT analysis in which the normalized delta CTs of a test sample and a reference sample are compared. Similarly, delta RN is the RN value of an experimental reaction minus the RN value of the baseline signal. Maybe you're wondering what RN means. RN stands for normalized reporter. It is the fluorescent signal from the reporter dye normalized to, or divided by, the signal from a passive reference dye. Now that you're an expert in real-time PCR terminology, check out some of our other Applied Biosystems Tech Talk videos and our online learning center for more in-depth information about this technology and its applications. Music